It is a look into a forgotten past. At the helm, 81-year-old Ronald Grant. Admission for one. A fanatic collector of cinema memorabilia. It all began when he took a job as a projectionist at the age of 15. I was in a warm place being paid to watch cowboy films. It was paradise. Almost 70 years on, Ronald has made it his mission to acquire everything and anything related to cinema. His collection is vast and includes this slide lantern dating back to the 1920s. If I can't focus it, perhaps. Oh, it's the, oh, this is the thing that's wrong. It may have been lost if Ronald hadn't given it a home. You see the light? Ronald set up the Cinema Museum with his partner Martin, who he met in Brixton 30 years ago. I went there and met Martin, but uh, I, the detail is... <laughs> is As always with me. Is, the detail is <laughs> not quite... So there it was. But what's lovely is that you found someone who shared your passion for the past. Mm. More well, than I found someone who was entirely different from myself. And I was very surprised that we've had anything in common at all. But it was a successful partnership. And they set about protecting cinema history. Because the cinema appeared to be in decline, we were rescuing these objects in order to keep a sense of so social history so that we could remember what it was like. This piece of equipment is for showing messages on the screen. It's for showing still slides which say, is there a doctor in the house? Will the person with car number AV254 move it? And like any love story, they are facing a huge obstacle. The building's owners have decided to sell, and that means Martin and Ronald may no longer be able to lease this space. Absolutely crushing. That's my life's work in the gutter. Would you set up anywhere else? No. No. If it's the end, it's the end, I'm afraid. Alpa Battelle, BBC London News.